in a combat zone. We ask people to risk their very lives with the confidence that the person on their left and right is going to take care of them. If people are being sexually assaulted, to have that trust violated so violently, it's ultimately chipping at the readiness of the unit to be able to go and do their principal mission for national security. I spent 27 years in service as a war fighter, as a commander, and then I was asked to lead the Sexual Assault Prevention Response Program for the Marine Corps. I don't believe right now that our leadership takes harassment and sexual assault seriously. We can't continue to have senior officers protect those who should be held accountable. Commanders make decisions that everywhere else in society trained prosecutors make. With all that we see in the press right now, the light that's being shed on harassment and sexual assault, my biggest frustration is where are the men who are standing up and saying, enough, I simply couldn't stand by anymore. When I sought the opportunity with Protect Our Defenders to seek reform, I just knew I had to be part of it. We have to create a more transparent and professional legal system in the military. It's gonna take pressure from the public and good laws from Congress to make that change happen. I think it can happen. I believe we're at a tipping point. Join the movement. There has to be reform.